Sports Byline USA, twitch.tv slash FRW video. A lot of people in the Twitch chat right now talking about the Darby Ellen Cody match. And I got to thinking, which is what I do. Mm. So if you didn't see it, they had a match. And the first match they had was the draw. Then they had a second match and Cody beat him. And now they had a match in a tournament for the TNT title. And Darby goes for the coffin drop. He goes to hook the leg, but Cody turns him over. And as he's hooking the leg, he actually gets pinned. And so Cody beats Darby Allen. And I mentioned this on Observer Radio last night. I I got so many emails because I watch the show on delay. So I get all these emails about the show before I watch it. It's just one person after another. It was almost word for word. Every email was. I know people are going to hate that Darby Allen finish, but I loved it. I thought it was clever. I had so many emails that said the exact same thing, but I never actually got the email from someone who actually hated it. But those people do exist. I've been hearing about it now for a while. People are very angry that, that Darby isn't getting this big win over Cody. And I did an interview yesterday, and somebody was asking me about, oh, Brian, everyone always talks about how you're biased. And they say, yeah. But, you know, the whole, but AEW, but WWE, but if WWE did this, but if AEW did this, well, you know what? It is different when AEW does things compared to WWE sometimes because they have different booking philosophies. And so the easiest way to explain this is the story here is that Darby can't beat Cody. That's a story. And every time he tries to wrestle Cody... Like, the best the best that happened was he went to a draw. But then he got beaten. This time, he almost beat the guy, but he didn't quite do it. He was, he was as close as could be. So the story here is that he's getting a little better. But he has not been able to beat Cody. Now, somewhere down the road, and it's not going to be next week, it may not even be in the year 2020, but the day is going to come where Darby Ellen beats Cody. And it's going to be a big deal. And I think that fans, some fans have a problem with this because we've been watching WWE for so long that they have this different way of booking. And the way that they book is, well, you beat me this time, I beat you next time. If, if I get beaten by you three straight times, well, I'm just a loser. I'm just a job guy. And the other guy's the star. Well, WWE can book however WWE wants to book. And they can satisfy their fans if that's what their fans are satisfied with. But the reality is, in other wrestling promotions, not only around the world today, but historically, there have been sports-style storylines. And in sports, sometimes the other guy is just better. Um, Daniel Cormier and John Jones. Daniel Cormier tried to beat this guy. He tried to beat this guy. And he just could never do it. And that's a story. And the difference between AEW and UFC is UFC can't book Daniel Cormier to get that big win over John Jones at the end. But AEW can, and they will. I saw this storyline. It's a storyline that probably nobody remembers. But I loved it. It was Edge and Kurt Angle. And Edge was the babyface, and Kurt Angle was the heel. And they had a match, and Kurt Angle beat him. And by the way, not only did the heel beat him, he beat him clean. And then they wrestled a second time. And Edge got closer the second time. But Kurt Angle beat him again. Because the story is, even though Edge was the babyface, Kurt Angle was the better man. But Edge did not give up. And they finally built to that big hair match. And in the hair match, finally Edge beat him and shaved his head which was great because it also led to the storyline where Kurt Angle had a bald head and he had to wear a wig because he was so embarrassed. But anyway, it's it was a great storyline. And Edge getting beaten twice clean by Kurt Angle, it didn't hurt Edge. Edge went on to become one of the biggest stars in the company, was the, the longest reigning SmackDown or the most SmackDown reigns or whatever. I mean, he was a big-time star. So this did not hurt Darby. Darby's not being buried. Darby doesn't need to beat Cody today. He doesn't need to beat Cody tomorrow. But he does need to beat Cody down the road, and someday he will. I liked it, and I like where they're going with this. It's professional wrestling. How about that? 
<laughs> professional wrestling. It was, it's, that's what I was thinking when you're describing the Edge and Kurt Angle thing. You could probably point to a lot of examples because it's pro wrestling rooted in sport. And I didn't see that many people that were that upset with Darby Allen not getting the victory. I am sure they're out there. The only thing I can add to what you were saying is, come on, people, if you really wanted Darby Allen to win, don't you want him to defeat the nefarious Cody Rhodes, which, frankly, for a good guy, Cody Rhodes is the biggest bad guy in the whole wide world. He is a lot like his father in a lot of ways, and him as a good guy, I'm not seeing it. He's a bad guy to me. I don't care what he says. I don't care how much people channel along to his theme music and all that other stuff. He's a bad guy, and Darby Allen's a hero, and Darby Allen's going to conquer that bad guy at some point down the line, and it should be in front of a lot of people, and it should be a great crowning achievement for Darby Allen when it happens. I think the only problem that I had is that I don't believe in execution. The finish of the match helped Darby all that much, and I don't think that it was well-defined to wrestling fans who may be a little bit newer who don't know these stories or maybe are too influenced by WWE. I I just didn't think it it went smooth, and I just didn't think it came across really, really well. And I understand the story that they're trying to tell like you do, so I give it a little bit of a pass, and I think... There was a, but I do think that there was a better way to do it. And I think there was a way to make it a little bit more clear that Darby is just this close, but Cody keeps, Cody keeps figuring out a way to, to one up him here. Uh, I think other than that, I thought the, the match itself was great. I think the story that they're telling is great. I think anybody that's that upset over Darby, that's great that you're that emotionally invested in this guy and you really want to see him achieve and jump ahead, but come on. I mean, the story was there last night. It was a perfectly told story to get Cody to the finals. You get a guy slaughtering his brother before he gets to the finals. I just think how everything played out last night is was a superior way to do things. 